tractors who thought I was going to have tech issues, you know, get owned. Get owned. All right, so let's get started here, guys. Welcome to the community meeting. We've had a really cool, um, really cool couple of weeks, uh, about three, three weeks, I think, in, in total now. I think we're, we just hit our, we'll hit our anniversary on Monday of the 21 days, so tomorrow, and we've done such a good job getting a lot of bug fixes and everything done, and the community's been awesome. So a uh, big round of applause to everyone, the dev team, the community admins, everything. Uh, it's been really cool. What we are covering today, uh, please note I did not have a smack knee with me. I let him take a couple of days off uh, to help like make this look prettier. So if things seem unaligned, it's because they are. Wait, how is it a black? This happened last time. Hold on. Hold on. It's not over. 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 Bam. Okay. I forgot. Discord likes to wrestle with the control of a Chrome browser screen to stream it. So that's what's happening. What I need is someone to restream my stream in the town hall, I think. Um, here we are. Perfect. We're still good. This still counts. The things we want to go over today, and uh, it's not going to look as nice as it is because I told Smacks to take a day off, and he can't even do that, as you see him in my chat. Um... What do you mean I'm not muted on Discord? This guy trying to troll me? Fuck it. Stop it. Oh my god. All right. The things we're going to go over today. We're going to go over the wins for 2.0. Rule changes, issues, and culture that we've had some issues with over the last couple of weeks. We're going to look at government updates, PC changes, business applications, the realtor stuff, uh, the development roadmap. We're going to have a quick look at and just talk about development things. Uh, we're also going to look at the Red M today as well. We have a little bit of a conversation we need to have on the Red M server, and uh, it's not bad for those thinking that it is. I could, I was thinking about like making you think it was bad just to keep your attention for the entire thing, but uh, I thought maybe that's a undue anxiety I would cause you all. The marketer in me was starting to like go over the community guy, so I thought better just so you guys know. Um, let's go over wins. We've had a consistent queue, ladies and gentlemen. Even last fall when we had our last uh, last go of success, we did not have a consistent queue from for 24 hours a day. Not for not for like three 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 weeks in a row. Never, at the very least. Like we've had a consistent queue across all time zones. We've had a pretty healthy server in, in that regard. So this is awesome. Um, police. We've had a lot of compliments on the PD quality and RP ability of the police. That's awesome. That's not to detract from the overall, uh, we were having some staffing issues at times, which we're actively trying to, to fix. You guys can see I'm trying to fix those. So, uh, bug fixes. I think this is a huge one. We've made very timely system bug fixes for reported issues. I think we've done a lot better this time than we did in the past. We have been on top of our shit. A big shout out to the devs. They have been working their asses off and honestly, they deserve the biggest pat on the back. Honestly. Like it's, it's been, it's been amazing and a big thanks to the community for reporting bugs. You guys have been really on top of that stuff and giving more detailed bug reports, which is awesome because it shows our community is really maturing and learning like how we do things here. People are sticking around and they are getting it in their heads. Like how do we report something so that it gets fixed versus not? And like, good job guys. Good job. Um, awesome. Awesome. Next up, I want to talk about rule changes that have happened here in the last week. We have changed some things to conflict rules. It was a little confusing for PD. Um, this is feedback we had, and we changed it to just be eight for PD response across the board, right? Instead of getting into mental gymnastics and all that, trying to figure stuff out, uh, keep it simple, stupid is what we're gonna go with here. Um, if you think about it, in most criminal encounters anyway, it's not really gonna matter because uh, criminals are usually the first people to shoot. And when they do shoot, I mean, a cop or two cops are down. So at most it's gonna be a one person advantage, if not a disadvantage by the time they get into it. Uh, the aggressor is always at, um, in GTA at least, unless it's like you're, you're attacking like someone's fortification, it's like very much skewed to the aggressor. Uh, gang tags. This is a big one that we've had an issue with this week. Uh, gang tags have been all throughout the, um, the city and they've been really unsightly 
and world altering and i've always hated this i want that to be clear and some of you've been around for a while know i've hated this and i've said a lot about it it's just i've kind of given in to what the the 5m tides which way they were kind of rolling right which was people wanted these stupid ass ugly unsightly things um but it looks like things have kind of changed on that a little bit and a lot of people are against it that are playing in the server now so i can finally change this where i can enforce that i don't want to see your big ass stupid sprays in the middle of the the road because i hate them i hate them there's nothing more i've hated on the server than like driving over those but this is kind of an example where it, i've kind of like decided to what the community wanted instead of my own personal desires um but the community has changed on that and this is kind of a good thing actually because this shows that over time our community and as it has matured things have really changed right so uh i think this is actually kind of a cool thing to look at that our community has matured right has gotten older and uh and people have started to see like some of these things aren't aren't the best you know what i mean so i, I think this is actually a cool thing and i'll stop being a, a nerd about it uh but I, I like looking at trends like this in terms of like community evolution and everything like that because it's a big part of uh I'm a community theory guy. Um, let's look at issues. Issues. We have... Oh, man. This is where I needed smacks me. Changed. Oh, boy. Okay. Um, we're... We've had some issues. These aren't changed, by the way. This is just... This is, this here just means Ravage is an idiot. Uh, and forgot to change this when I was copy-pasting slides. Anyway. Uh, so let's talk about some of the issues that we've had and I've seen and we've been cracking down on. And some of you guys might not have seen it so blatantly uh, because the admins have really been on top of this shit. Uh, I've been on top of this shit. I've had people reporting this stuff directly to me. And fuck you, Shots. Um, metagame, sorry guys. Visceral response to seeing Shots names insulting me. Um, metagaming and cloud chasing. This has been a big thing. Uh, we've been cracking down on it. We've made 10 bans at least this week. We've been making tons of bans on this over and over and over again. Um... There's a lot of things that people don't understand that are that are metagaming, right? Because they get caught up in the star power of people they've watched or seen or someone they've seen that has like a lot of viewers. The things that, that start to happen are like uh, you start like glazing a streamer, right? Um, like that that's that's crazy. Um, like crazy behavior, like just giving a streamer what they want, you know, because you know they're the streamer, the character and just giving them things and 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 just being there to like just 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 wait on them hand and foot because because they're they're popular like that is a form of metagaming I, I just want that to be very clear and we will we are and will be banning for this so uh next up we are going back uh shots are you talking about stream sniping this metagaming pistone really anyway Meta it was a meta pistone or meta game. I can't remember what the nickname they gave you. Um, a funny one, whatever one that is. We'll go with that. Um, we're going back to to watch stream clips and uh, people who go back to watch stream clips and they utilize meta knowledge is also completely unacceptable. This has flared up a lot recently, and oh, out of character pistone. There you go. Meta pistone. I don't know where I got that. Out of character pistone. Thank you. Thank you for the clarification. Love you, Shots. That's, what is it you say? It's all love. <laughs> Not but for real. I, I like Shots. He's a, he's a really good dude. Um, but using stream clips to utilize meta knowledge is completely unacceptable. We've seen a lot of this stuff happen over and over again, like people getting meta unlocks uh, for for a variety of different things by just watching it on stream or seeing it on a YouTube clip. And that's not a, an acceptable way to fin find out a game mechanic. Um, you shouldn't be participating or reading in meta chats uh, if you're actively playing on the server, period, with a T, because I've been yassified uh, by all the girls. Um, basically, the the thing here is that this is becoming a real problem. People just live and breathe in meta chats all the time where they're taking things out of there. And these things, even if they're not actively using them as like stating them in game, the problem is, is that they're gaining the knowledge, getting upset about it and paving their actions as a result of it. So that's been a real big issue. Um, and that stuff kind of needs to stop. Like people need to realize with the introduction of meta chats and stuff like that being more prominent on the server that you need to chill and you need to take a step back and you need to not be involving yourself in those because they
they are going to continually uh, pave your 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 path in role play just based on your own knowledge, right? And and meta, it's not a direct form of metagaming where you're stating the meta, but you're using the information uh, inadvertently. So you need to be more careful about that. The community as a whole, in my opinion, I've seen a lot of community members act actively participating in meta chats, and our peers really shouldn't be in there participating in those. They're not meant for you. They're meant for an engagement tool for viewers. And the minute that we as role players start actively participating in them in a way that is we are reading the meta and consuming it is like is is a is a step too far. Um I have to at times. You'll sometimes see me in there in some different meta chats, and that's because that's from a rule perspective. I have to read them for a rule perspective. I'm also not full time playing on the server at the moment. Um Heist knowledge. This has been a very big one. Um, streamers streaming a heist aren't a fucking meta unlock. Please. You can't watch a streamer and then come in and do the exact steps they did quicker and expect me to believe on a new heist that you did not watch a stream and get that information. Uh, I need people to understand before they try this heist that we are watching that like a hawk, like the entire, I had the entire admin team sat in voice calls watching PDM this weekend. I think you need to understand that I am not fooling around with this. This is not a joke. This is about competitive integrity. Like this is a big thing. You need to think about this, like people going to world first for, for, for wow raids or or whatnot. I've been calling people out consistently on this and we have banned people already that have come and tried to do this stuff. Like the reality of the situation is guys, that's not cool. It's not fucking cool. Like you don't get to come and just watch a stream and then get to go do the, there are literal benefits for finishing heists, first, second, third, fourth. Fifth. There are benefits to that. So the reality is, is like you are destroying the integrity of the process and we're not going to tolerate it look there are people i really really like and think are great role players that did this shit this weekend and for me that was heartbreaking it was heartbreaking because it's like why let yourself get so caught up in this and having to go and get this thing done is it for content is it for your own sense of egos for bragging i don't know but it's not appropriate figure it out yourself you shouldn't be gone in you should be like drawn to someone's chat if you have intention to do a heist on our server do not watch other people do it think about it from just an integrity standpoint or just on the very low level of an rp standpoint it makes no sense that you would gain that knowledge from a stream you're ruining your own experience and you're ruining the experience of other people that are trying to compete to figure this out we are on this shit i'm not going to unglue the admins from this shit until people have completed this thing multiple times. So, right? Like, people need to chill. We are active on this shit, and I'm not going... I'm going to be... Un in, like, I'm not... I'm going to be uncompromising on this. And that's the truth. Like, I'm, I'm very sorry. Some people are going to get banned for this because I know you're not going to be able to... to, to, to help yourselves. And I just know people are going to hit me with... Oh, well, I knew it from this, this. They're going to do this mental gymnastics of how they got there when they've watched it on a stream. And I just don't fall for it anymore. I've been at this way too long. So, sorry, guys, but that's it. Like, you do this shit, you paved your own funeral. You make sure you figure this shit out in game. Period. Period. With a T. Fan imitation. Um, This is another big thing that's been pretty prevalent recently, which is like, Doing the thing you see the streamer do. I'm sorry, but the reality of the situation is, is that when you try to copy someone and you don't have the RP experience that the person that did a thing does, you are probably going to fuck it up. A great example is I saw, I watched, come on, pile up four traffic cars, and then I watched everyone try to imitate him piling up 50. And I'm sorry. But stopping four cars is considerably different than stop, stopping 50 in a traffic pileup. That is different. That is just different in general. That's not like a, you know, a he not we thing. That's, that's literally a, that is stupid. Like that's taking something and you just 
didn't have the ability to comprehend, you know, like what is acceptable versus not. We talk about reading the room. These are the types of things we're talking about. So like guys, we really need to chill on that type of thing with the metagaming. Okay. Um, <laughs> filter issues. I don't know why I left the change. I hate myself for this. I can't believe I missed this on multiple slides. Um, racers. I put a little baby rage here because this issue popped up last year. Um, and the conflict rules are in place for a reason. And just because you're able to create a race with 15 people doesn't mean you get to ram the three cops of 15 cars. I'm sorry. Like, please use your head. Please use your head. Please. Like, the fact the racers were going to try and start a war on week three of the server because the PD told them not to ram them when they're chasing them uh, is insane. And this same stuff happened last time. I'm not putting up with it. Mark it down. It is not happening again. You will run from the cops. That's the whole point. That's the thrill is running from the cops, not playing bumper cars in the streets. It looks stupid. It is stupid. It doesn't feel good to do, even if you're on that side of it. Like, there's literally no reason to do it other than the fact that you're just getting salty. And the people that are getting salty in racing, you need to touch grass. I did this morning. I was salty about something. I touched some grass. It's not a bad word, touching grass. I'm just saying, like, it's not bad. You should touch, like, it's not bad. Grass is okay, unless you're allergic. Then it's bad. But, you know, I, I think, honestly, like, the people that are starting these wars need to chill the fuck out. Um, yes, run from the police, don't war them. You know, you want police to intervene in your chases. You want that, okay? That's a good thing. Otherwise, you just go to a racing server, okay? That's the, look, that's the trick. There are racing servers that exist on fire. I'm fucking crazy, I know, but they exist. They actually exist. They're a thing, okay? You can just do those. They don't even have cops. You don't have to worry about this. All right? You're good. I mean, smoking grass, inevitably you're touching it, so whatever. Like, you do what you got to do. Just people need to chill. Um, you want police to chase you. Don't ostracize them to the point where they won't. All right? Next up, businesses. Let me be frank. Gav, if you want to come up here and say stuff yourself, you're more than welcome. Um, we sh should not have had, and I want this to be clear because this got put on Reddit and taken out of concept, uh, context for me, right? And on YouTube videos and everything like that. Whatever. That stuff happens. Get your bag, guys. You know, like if you're making money from that, get your bag. I respect the hustle. Um, I'm not going to shit talk you. Like I respect the hustle, but I have to clarify. Um, an admin team should not have done corruption RP two weeks into server launch. No matter if we're going with their RP or not. That is not the standard I want to set. And I don't think there was ill intent there. I can, well, actually, I can tell you there wasn't ill intent there by Gav. Gav loves the fuck out of the server and has been playing this server for a fucking, like, even when I wasn't playing the server, Gav was on here doing a bunch of stuff. There was not any Ill, Ill intent here, right? Um, but I think it deserves us to talk about it. It's like, we probably, the corruption RP, not probably, it shouldn't have happened, right? And it shouldn't happen with government systems um, like that, you know? And if it does, it should have like stark consequences. And then on top of that, an admin shouldn't do corruption RP unless it's to push forward like a major event. And what I mean by that is like, not that this was a major event that like a wipe or like we're introducing a game mechanic and we're doing this as a story to help like move stuff forward for you guys, right? We agree and Gav agrees and everyone agrees that like, we're gonna try to avoid that stuff in the future. Um, you know, it, listen, I get why people were a little upset about it. Like, I think he does too. I think everyone does. So, um, we're going to endeavor to improve that, to be completely frank. And I want you guys to understand, like, the people involved here, they really care about the server. I can guarantee you after looking, I was pissed at first. I got really upset about it. But, like, at the end of the day, like, the people involved, like, really, really, really care about the server. So, there was not, and there was no intent there to do something bad. It was to give good story. So please take that into notice. With that in mind, um, I think business applications need to be talked about a little bit. I don't know if Gav's out there. Are you out there, Gav? Want to talk about the business applications? I don't think he's there. Okay. Um, basically, right now, business applications are live in game. Um, is he talking? Why doesn't he just come up to the stage? 
Oh, he has family over. Okay, it's all good. Fuck Gavin, all right, guys? Seeing he's not going to call up on stage now? Fuck that guy. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but business applications are up in game right now. There's a bunch of available locations. And, um, you know, there's the Koi, Cluck and Bell, the Chain, the Pit, the McLaurin's Pub, the Marina, the Mile High Club, 1042, which is going to be managed and given away by the police, the PD Cafe, same thing. There's a Starlight Club, Tequila Lodge, Stroke Masters, Pleto Bar, Split Size Comedy Club, Larry's RV. So there's a ton of stuff. So please, you know, we want you to do the RP around these things, hold events, all the classic stuff, but you can apply in game now. So um, for car lots, I wanted to also like clarify as well that we can make anywhere a car lot basically at the moment. We've done that, I think, with Mosley's at the moment where it's just like a car lot. So we can do that. And also something to consider is that you can do a car lot with uh, now in the wipe without like buying new stock there is like a system where you can sell your car and your car goes up on like a little auction for anyone who's a vehicle dealer so you can buy them so people can sell their car like 30 40 percent value and then it goes there right and then you can buy a used car so there is the opportunity to use car lots like solely use car lots so just consider that is that there's a lot of opportunities there for that that i don't think people understand or have gone for um we're going to put prices on all these things, like the price of car lots, repair shop, restaurants, et cetera, is all here on the screen. You can see it, uh, 750K for a car lot, which I think is fair because you should go on that with multiple people. Repair shops are 500K and restaurants are 300K. And everyone who has a business will also pay these already. The ones who already have them will pay the same thing, okay? And we will be able to do payment plans, that type of thing, so don't get too, like, we will still reward really good role play, okay? Um... I want to apologize on behalf of the admin team. I'm part of the reason that this took a long time to get going, I think. I don't think it's necessarily Gav's fault. I did not enable him with the tools he needed and the people he needed to, to really go in and get this done on a wide basis. So I do want to apologize. I meant to even get this done in the middle of last week, but I've just been very busy. Um, the other thing was is that we had a lot of money printing with the businesses that we need to fix as well. And like, if I expanded it outside the people that I knew, it was going to be a lot worse when I told them I have to take all your money, you know? But I know that I can talk to Tim Mac, someone I've known for, how long have I known Tim Mac now? Eight years, something like that? Or like shots or, or you know, or Carmen, people that I, I've known and know that they won't get upset over that stuff and like get, like harbor a, like a lifelong grudge, you know? And then like shots already has one of those against me, you know? So like I was safe there. I wasn't going to get another one. So either either way, like these things are being, being addressed and, and fixed, just so you guys know. So those apps are out now. Um, next up, low effort RP conflict. Uh, this has been a big one lately. You have to put effort into your RP conflict. Like I've seen a lot of this L stuff, like Twitter stuff. I'm joking. Shots knows I'm joking. Um, where basically people are just posting things on L or Twitter and they are not doing any RP follow-up and they're missing all of the RP steps basically on, on the way to, to getting to, to an RP conflict. You're just expediting things by like continuously shit talking people on L and it's not fun or funny. It's literally to be mean, right? And yeah, it's fine on like actual social media, but the reality is we're on a role play server and the goal is to get interactions with people. And if you are just basically going on to L and you're expediating the RP and not taking the RP steps of like having a meeting, making a scene, trying to like flesh out the conflict. You are skipping, you're turning like a week, two week long thing into like 15 minutes, right? It's, it's rough. So the next point I've made here is like, you need to have proper escalation, right? Like immediately being upset about an issue in character should all, shouldn't always lead to like an immediate violent response. Um, I've had a lot of talks with people on like some of the bigger issues on the server that are more public this week where like the problem with these interactions wasn't the fact that there was conflict. It was the fact that conflict happened in moments of like someone just driving up, getting out of a car, pointing a gun, right? It's like all like ego, adrenaline and anger filled and fueled, right? And, and, and that's not good conflict ever. Um, so the thing that you need to do is like, there's talk time with all these things. Like I know people joke about it with the gangs, like the gang meetings, stuff like that, but that's part of the role play. It's like taking time, talking to the people that you, you have you, allies with, et cetera, you know, and doing that. Um, trying to make our RP meetups and conversations on the beef with the other side or people, other gangs, et cetera. Um, 
you know, get even after you've exhausted all those RP steps. Because the problem we have now is that people aren't taking those at all. So all that like intermediary RP that should happen in between is is just not happening. So it, it, it's rough, you know, a weak RP turning into a 15 minute fail video on YouTube is what I put down here, which is true. It's, this is what does happen. Like this is most, mostly what I see on YouTube from like the drama clips and stuff like that are people making into a 15 minute fail video because they're skipping these steps. Right. And I think as a community, we really need to look back and see how important these are. Um, metagaming and conflict. Um, if you get like meta information or there's third party information like a meta chats or stream chats or whatever that, that pisses you off and then you use that to ignite something, you know, on the way to get to a conflict or, or to reignite conflict that was over, like that is metagaming. That's not that's not like you're you're listen, just because you don't say it in game, I'll say it again, doesn't mean that what you did is not metagaming. Stop reading chats, YouTube comments during your conflict, like turn that shit off. You should not be in those things when you're going through conflict at all because it influences you. Things they say, I, I have seen people use arguments in YouTube comments against other sides. This stuff is awful. Listen, guys, I ran when I was very young, I ran for politics. OK, and what ate me up was people just shitting on me because I was young. They insulted my the. The things I said, the, the way I looked, all these different things, the my my positions on things, and it nearly destroyed me, right? It nearly destroyed me, like on a mental level. And the same thing is here, right? Anytime you read this stuff, it, it listen, I have I turned I turned that into um I turned that into something I became good at. I became got really thick skin, right? And then I turned that into my career where I was really good at analyzing those things, right? Uh, but for the normal person, going in and reading those comments is really bad for you, right? Because you need to think about most of these people, the effort it takes to just reply to these things without even watching the video is very low. And people repeat, like you can go and like, I have an algorithm that basically that I put together that, that basically I these things record the, the comments and then I see the people that repeat on these videos and you'd be surprised like there's people that repeat just negative things on every single video and it's obvious they're not watching them because of the post time between the video video post and the post on the on the video like you need to think about a lot of these things are are done and posted in a way to just be to, to, to just get to a goal you know you need to think about it these posts a lot of times are strategic to bring people down or to like make a message resonate with people and like this is like part of like media manipulation in a way and on a lower level and i think you guys need to you guys need to realize that like just don't read those there's no benefit in it and when you're in a conflict all it's going to do is make you take another round on the conflict and listen this is like my kind way of saying this to you like i get it it can suck when you read the stuff but it, at the end of the day it doesn't fucking matter it, it does it's what people say in a comment section it does not matter a lot of times they don't know your real name they don't really know who you are if you're not even streaming, there's not even like a clout perspective of it that even matters. It doesn't matter, guys. Stop reading them, please. Just role play. If that's what you're here to do, just role play. Um, but it's like a, it's something that's just going to happen and you can't avoid it. So please just ignore it. While you're in conflict, at least, don't go watching the videos back and reading the comments and stuff. Uh, vulturing and continued fighting after PD response. Um, this is a big one that's going to change and shift for the Yangs now. And you guys need to know this. I have instructed PD and we've changed SOPs and I've talked with some of the bigger criminals, um, uh, in the server about like what we're going to do here is like when people are looting stuff and the PD have rolled in, you are going to get ta warned, tased, tackled. Like it's going to be quick. Okay. Like we're not, we're not messing around with that anymore because it looks stupid. Um, and it doesn't make sense that we don't. Also the PD after like five minutes, they have the ability to roll in and start talking to you and warning you to tell you to stop. And if you're not running away, you and are still shooting and endangering people, you likely will get shot. Okay. Um, and if the shootout has stopped, the PD can roll in. So if it's stopped and the PD have rolled in, you should evacuate. Like we had this really well established before, like six months ago, but I think it's kind of like slowed a little bit. But like everyone agrees, like I've talked to like, talked to everyone, like I've talked to multiple people in CG, I've talked to like some of the other bigger gangs in the city, like everyone agreed that this is what we should do. So we'll adjust it if we, we, we do, but like, I will tell you that like we've, I've done my rounds on this, so be prepared. 
All right, this is just me setting up the expectations. So you guys know this is in our SOPs. It is being enacted now. Um, robberies. Robberies have been bad lately. There's been a lot of like, <laughs> okay, let's just go through it. I, I broke down what the robberies I've watched are and what they look like. Um, is you must say, you know, like people are not doing the bare minimum. They're like, you're only up, put your hands up with a gun up. They're loot boxing someone in their inventory saying, fuck you, or you're dumb, you're stupid, get fucked, bruv. Uh, Vinny Pistone, you got spaghetti nipples, and then they're leaving, and that's it. That's all they're saying. Like, uh, honestly, that's all that's happening. And this is like rampant at the moment. This is not a tolerable level of role play for a robbery. Okay. So the reality is, is that there must, <laughs> there must buy. Oh my God. There must be RP and an interaction with any robbery. Our rules clearly state this. So, um, we're cracking down on this. People are getting banned for this. It's going to continue to ban people unless this shapes up. Like, this is ruining the experience for new people. That's it. Okay? So let's let's figure it out. Put some effort into it. Give them a bit. Give them a joke. Give them a laugh. Give them something. Vinny's... Well, first of all, in America, you probably shouldn't... If Vinny's... If, listen. If he said he's throwing maple syrup at me, that's precious. And don't get me started on the maple syrup cartel in Quebec and how wasteful it is to waste any maple syrup anywhere based on the market controls that are in place for maple syrup. And listen, I can go all day on this. Don't get me started. Maple syrup and the maple syrup cartels are a serious issue. And that's why you guys don't know what maple syrup is and you just eat and what's the, oh my God, they renamed that, didn't they? Uh, what's the syrup called? Uh, now they renamed it. Oh, it's corn syrup. Okay. Yeah. Whatever that's, no, they renamed it. They renamed it. They renamed it, I think, for good reasons, if I remember correctly. That's why I'm not saying it. I'm being appropriate. No, don't don't repeat it. Stop, stop, stop. It used to be called that. Stop saying. Pearl Mills. Thank you. Um. So, don't rob people intentionally. Menus is another thing. If you're, like, going to, like, purposely rob people in, uh, in menus... Um, that's bad, right? But if it's like, as a result of like a gang conflict, like we get it, it's like you're catching someone lacking or whatever. Like that's the argument most people have given me on this. Most of the gangs I've talked to and I'm using what I've been told, well, they got caught lacking, you know? And uh, that's like the, the common thing I get back on that. But um, the reality is like, if you're trying to hostage take and you're like going to the clothing store intentionally get someone in a menu because it's easy. So, yeah. Because Vinny said he was throwing maple syrup at me and it's wasteful. Arena attire. Uh, we're still banning people for this. So if you think you're slick and you're starting to put it back on, I will get you. This is like my personal investment. Okay. And I know also another person that's really personally invested and is reporting people on this, and I'm going to out them is Red. So me and Red both are on this shit. So I'm just saying, like, we aren't slacking. People are getting banned. You're just not hearing about it because they're embarrassed to tell you that they tried to test the fucking system and they got clapped. Okay? Because they are. Absolutely, they are. Okay? That is the damn truth. So. Uh, let's keep going. Penal code changes. We've had multiple penal code changes in the last day. The fines have increased across the board because it's time. We need to match the economy. Some charges like racing, you're going to look at them and be like, wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. But um, arena tire, it's listed on our rule page. <laughs> so um, fines increased across the, the board. The racing charge is a little rough because we can never catch people for it. And it's hard to prove. So it has to be big, right? Um, so there we go. Racing is supposed to be getting crypto and crates. That will be in, that should be in in the next week. That should have been in since the beginning, really. I don't know. I'm confused why it wasn't, but we figured it out this week that you guys weren't getting it. So, yeah. Like, you guys are supposed to get crates with, like, stuff that makes it easier for you to race. But yeah, racing charges are going to be a little more. Um, because, because, yeah, they're hard to convict and they're hard to do. So, uh, they're hard to catch people for, so. 
That makes sense. Uh, we're going to continue to institute suggestions. The court system is beginning to thrive, the capital T, because I looked at the court doc yesterday, and it's nice and active. Um, bribery, obstruction, um, possession of oxy, littering, race, racing, brandishing, display of a weapon in government buildings and private premises where it's posted are all things now. Impersonation of a person and a government employee are two different things. There's a bunch of stuff. So, On development. We are trying to add to our team, ladies and gentlemen. Our devs are <laughs> burning very hot at the moment, trying to make sure that we continue to make all these good things, and I don't want them to burn out. So what we need to do now is we need to hire. So I've been talking to some people, but I just want to point out here what we're looking for. We are looking for a full stack developer for 5M. We want someone who's creative and a solid 5M experience, and they have a firm understanding of coding efficiency as well as for performance for 5M. Uh, and you must have a portfolio. Front end, we're looking for someone who does view and react, same type of criteria. We are looking for MLO and 3D devs. Um, we want high quality and efficient 3D designers for our team. We have, we've really improved our 3D team. Um, so that's a big thing uh, it, for, for me is that I, I, I want people to know that they come on through the team now, it's like much more advanced than it was before. We have like much more advanced people. Um, we're looking for full stack developers for Red M, uh, proven Red M or 5M developers who have a firm understanding of the CFX infrastructure and is creative with past experience is important for us. Um, also, the front end developer we're, for Red M, we're looking to add another front end guy for the for the Red M team as well. So, uh, and also a UI UX designer. So if you have a portfolio, uh, the thing I would say with the UI UX designers, I always ask someone to mock up an improvement to one of our designs, and that's kind of the thing. So tell your friends, tell your, you know, tell, tell anyone you know that might be be looking that is very good at what they do, and we will interview them. So we have a pretty, pretty, um, pretty advanced team. So we're trying not to take too many any juniors at the moment. So uh, there we want hours enough to iterate features quickly. That's where we're at. So the coming soon for development. I decided not to post pictures of the things in game. Uh, so you guys can try to figure it all out. The only in game thing is here because Harold sent this to me. This is a new furniture drop for offices and all that's coming. And yeah, so this is the coming soon. You guys can try to put it together. All right. Next up, what I have is a lot. I'm going to. Give me a second. Just stop streaming.